Welcome back to Expressions after the break. Next we have another exhibition coming up for you titled The Myth. This exhibition is the solo show of works by artist Minakshi Jha, who is inspired by the Madhubani folk art. And her theme of the exhibition is represented by the fish. So let's have a look at these very interesting works. Name this exhibition as Myths Reinterpreted. It is because these are all myths that I have painted in my uh, all these paintings. However, they, I have reinterpreted them. I have put in my own meaning based on my understanding. So I have sort of somewhere I have added in. I have just twisted it, like in the uh, Matsya Ramayan, in the form of uh, Ram, Sita, and Lakshman. So that's just my way of interpreting things. I belong to a culture where fish is very, very important. It is a part of daily life. We have our ponds, we eat fish, and it is the, it is the symbol of good luck, prosperity, fertility. So I think that would, that's the best thing through which I can explain uh, my, my ideas about the world and myths. That's why I have taken fish as my major motive. However, it is not the only thing that I have painted but that is the major motive of my paintings. My, uh, the basis of my painting, yeah, the basis of my style is Madhubani, the Mithila style of painting. However, it is not exactly the traditional Mithila painting that we see around or we talk about. I have experimented a lot with this style. Somewhere, I have just, you know, stylized it much more than the traditional style, where I have put in bold lines and somewhere I have not put the outlines or the uh, the frames, so that's all the experimental form. I, I wouldn't say it is typical Mithila, but yeah, my source, my inspiration lies in Mithila style of painting. The face of God, 
that's my most favorite because that's how I perceive about the world. I've put Brahma as eyes because he looks after the functioning of material world, nose as Shiva because he controls life and death. He even supersedes Yama. So he forms the nose of the face of the God. And Vishnu, because he is the nurturer, he forms the mouth because without food, nobody would survive. And their function is so complementary to each other that unless they all come together, this whole world cannot function. Well, this was the exhibition The Myth For You. With this, it's time for us to wrap up this edition of Expressions for this week. We'll see you again next week. Till then, you take good care of yourself. This is your host Arbada, signing off with camera person Ratul Barua. Thanks. <laughs>